So just to do a presentation uh, of this pigeon, and this smoke that's about to come out, this is actually wow. uh, coming from the pulp of sugarcane, uh, the shop that we just mm -hmm. went to. It is a sauce made from its carcass, its bones, and finish with a little bit of the blood coming from the heart of this pigeon. This place is gorgeous. Yeah, so the location, we call it the Bluff Island. I never thought that just an hour away from the city, from the busy life, you know, I could reach this beautiful tropical place. They really are breathtaking. This is so peaceful, so relaxing. I'm starting to really, really like this new taste of Hong Kong. Bolo Bao translates as pineapple, but there is basically no pineapple. All like, right. I know it sounds absurd, but the idea here is that the topping, the cookie topping, kind of looks like the husk of a pineapple. Oh, and so I see. And so that's where the name. And it's really, it's so Hong Kong. Instead of just buying something off the shelf, today I'm making my own candle, a reflection of my personality. First step is a mood board made from objects that catch my attention. Then an app tells me which associated essential oils to mix into the wax. Smells are very powerful. They can bring out long forgotten memories. So every time I light this candle, I will be reminded of my trip in Hong Kong and Sai Kong. So Hong Kong Walls doesn't only give the opportunity to local artists, but also to international artists. Yes. And this one is really, really cute because um, he painted it on the outside of a Japanese restaurant, a fusion restaurant. He really, well, on the one hand, he looked at a shape, right? And a fish usually is like a nice lengthy shape, so mm -hmm. it's almost kind of natural as well. Okay. But it was also the idea that Sai Kung is a former fishing village, or still is today. Um, you have the waterfront really close by, so it's a little bit like a reminder for people mm -hmm. also to, you know, respect the ocean, to respect the water, to see the beauty in it. This shop here is uh, the oldest sugarcane juice shop in Hong Kong. It's still here today because um, the sugarcane juice is very special. Uh, they first boil it and then they juice. But, I mean, going back to this cane, the sugarcane here is actually, uh, we make a dish out of this sugarcane pulp. And how did you think about that? It Just actually is a tradition in Chow Chow. So where my dad is from, in mm -hmm. Chow Chow, they have a very famous dish of um, sugarcane smoked duck. Uh, so they would take the, a similar method and smoke duck with it. Uh, but here is a similar method. Obviously, we are taking the same idea, mm -hmm. but we apply it to French cuisine. So just to do a presentation uh, of this pigeon, and this smoke that's about to come out, this is actually wow. uh, coming from the pulp of sugarcane, uh, the shop that we just went to. It is a sauce made from its carcass, its bones, and finish with a little bit of the blood coming from the heart of this pigeon. Mm. The glaze is amazing on it. <laughs> There's this um, smoky taste. Um, yeah. I would even say like barbecue kind of Almost. flavors. Yeah, because barbecue sauce is kind of like, uh, you know, like smoky and sweet mm -hmm. at the same time. So it's more or less like that. After a delicious meal at one of Asia's top 50 restaurants, I think it's only fitting to follow up with a drink at one of Asia's 50 best bars, Quinary. This is one of the most Instagrammable. I know, and I've heard a lot about this cocktail. So, you know, people like to do like this. So here you are, the best selling drinks. Oh, I'll go coffee and martini. Wow, this is beautiful.